I appreciate your welcome. And I'm very proud to be back in this historic building and have an opportunity to say a few words on some matters which concern me as president and I hope uh, concern you as citizens. Of all the stories of American pioneers and settlers, none is more inspiring than the Mormon Trail. The qualities of the founders of this community are the qualities that we seek in America, qualities which we like to feel this country has. Courage, patience, faith, self-reliance, perseverance, and above all, an unflagging determination to see the right prevail. I came on this trip to see the United States. The primary reason for my trip was conservation. And I include in conservation, first our human resources, and then our natural resources. And I think this state can take perhaps its greatest pride and its greatest satisfaction for what it's done, not in the field of the conservation and the development of natural resources, but what you've done to educate your children. This state has a higher percentage per capita of population of its boys and girls who finish high school and then go to college. If this is a strong, vital, and vigorous society, the cause of freedom will be strong and vital and vigorous. And I know that many of you in this state and other states sometimes wonder where we're going and why the United States should be so involved in so many affairs in so many countries all around the globe. If our task on occasion seems hopeless, if we despair of ever working our will on the other 94% of the world's population, then let us remember that the Mormons of a century ago were a persecuted and prosecuted minority, harried from place to place, the victims of violence and occasionally murder. While today, in the short space of a hundred years, their faith and works are known and respected the world around, and their voices heard in the highest councils of this country. As the Mormons succeeded, so American can succeed, if we will not give up or turn back. 